हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स या वन स्टॉप फॉर लर्निंग ऑल द मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स व्हिच आर यूजफुल फॉर कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स एंड वेरी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर ऑल द स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स यू नो इफ दे वांट टू अपस्किल देमसेल्व्स एंड डेवलप 10 टाइम्स फास्टर स्पीड ऑफ कैलकुलेशंस देन दिस चैनल इज फॉर यू इन रीसेंट टाइम्स आई हैव गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट्स फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट्स हाउ टू स्प्लिट द मिडिल टर्म ऑफ अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन when the coefficients are very large the students face a problem in splitting the middle term and the short trick for getting to the solution also does not work until you are able to split the middle term easily so in this video i am going to take up an equation here you can see 15x square minus 11x minus 14 equal to 0 the coefficients are above 10 and whenever the coefficients are above 10 the students face a problem in splitting the middle term and finding those factors into which the middle term has to be broken down so you need to save your time uh, and split the middle term quickly right talking of saving time i hope you have procured a copy of this amazing ebook which i have bought out after 2 years of dedicated hard work 350 short tricks in mathematics for cracking the quantitative aptitude exams 333 pages neatly typed and organized for you to study from those uh, uh, pages is like you know a boon for your uh, development of skills and obviously for solving those multiple choice questions these short tricks are going to prove very very beneficial so a very nominal costing course i hope you will get a copy of this you already might have got a copy if you have not done till now please do it 9896369963 is the whatsapp number on which you have to send me a message i'll send you the details of how you can get a copy of this amazing ebook which is creating waves in the market there is no parallel book printed form or soft form in the market or this collection is not available anywhere on the internet you will find random tricks one here one there uh one in the form of video one in the form of pdf but not a such such a huge collection of these short tricks for quantitative aptitude exams so let's see the question in hand here we have 15x square minus 11x minus 14 equal to 0 now the first thing after seeing this this type of equation you should get in mind is the coefficient of x square 15 and the constant term 14 let's forget the sign for the moment the negative or the positive signs so 15 times 14 don't multiply them now this is the first uh, you know error or the mistake what the students are doing they are multiplying 15 and 14 never do that rather break that in the factor form so 15 is 3 times 5 and 14 is 2 times 7 now you can see i can't break them any more so 3 5 2 7 these are four factors of 15 times 14 right and now breaking into two factors is not at all difficult because my work of thinking is reduced i just need to convert these four factors into two factors such that their sum or their difference is 11 now whenever the teachers are teaching this you know they are telling the students find two numbers whose sum is minus 11 the coefficient of x and the product is the product of the first and the last so they are multiplying it there 15 times 14 and even the negative sign they are putting there minus 210 very difficult job you know teachers they are complicating the things for the students rather than simplifying it so i always say to my students 15 times 14 is to be broken down into factors how many factors you have four so we need to reduce them to two factors now such that not the sum not the sum it can be sum or difference should be this number 11 now 3 into 5 into 2 into 7 right so let's convert 3 into 5 into 2 into 7 into two factors whose sum or difference is 11 so 15 and 14 it's not going to give me a difference or sum of 11 right so if i combine like this 6 and 5 7 is a 35 35 and 6 is not going to add up to 11 or difference will not be 
what else is the possibility 3 times 7 21 and 5 times 2 10 watch now 21 and 10 does it give a difference of 11 yes and therefore we have the middle term split factors and now all you need to do is to put the negative sign or the positive sign according to what is the middle term it is minus 11 so how are you going to get minus 11 from 21 and 10 it has to be minus 21 plus 10 and there we go you have split the middle term without actually finding the product of a and c very very important friends very very important all those class 8 9 10 students watching this don't ever multiply the quotient of x square and the constant term rather write them together and convert them into factors and then how many factors you obtain just convert them into two factors whose sum or difference is the middle term i have split the middle term so easily you know i can do this in five to six seconds and after this finding the roots that itself is very very easy you know once you have split the middle term in five to six seconds another three seconds you get the answer the solution change the sign minus 21 becomes 21 plus 10 becomes minus 10 and finally divide by the quotient of x square just divide both of them by 15 you are going to have the roots of the quadratic equation 21 upon 15 reduced as 7 upon 5 I've cut the common factor 3 and minus 10 upon 15 is minus 2 upon 3. So you can check friends whether the solutions of this quadratic equation is 7 by 5 and minus 2 by 3 or not. A very very interesting video for all of those uh, students who are struggling in this concept of splitting the middle term. So friends do share it with all your uh, you know uh, uh, classmates who are struggling with this concept who are looking for such videos. Do subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon for getting all the notifications so that you don't miss out on such important videos. And thanks for watching this amazing video.